off instead of making people's jobs easier using AI. It's yeah, the same thing. It's the same. AI it's making same, people's jobs thing. easier. Uh, Play thing. Aid for Smash oh. Ultimate is an AI tool that's getting worked on to uh, mark and, and make VOD searchable via for VOD review. It's a really cool tool uh, that's getting worked on. They were just at Genesis, but this set. Uh, we actually go from Fox back to Fox here with Dro the Yoshi versus Mr. Man and in another regional Midwest classic here. All right, here we go. Yoshi, big fan, especially considering Long Island and the amount of Yoshi they got over there. I've seen a fair amount of this character in my day, and we did just get to see some Fox in Comet not too long ago, so kind of a, a familiar feeling to the stream here as we're kind of getting through game one. Wow, falling back here into and board smash. Flambo, not just a familiar feeling to stream. Comet's number one in Wisconsin. Dro is number four in Wisconsin. Well, there you have Those it. Those two play, right? Dro knows this matchup, and he feels right at home here in this set. You can see it in his game plan, but he is locking down Mr. Man, going in the, putting Yoshi in positions to cover openings that you really don't see covered against Fox that up much, because he just knows the matchup so well. Yeah, I mean, you can see it in a lot of the options that's being selected, right? A lot of these extensions are leading to putting, oh my gosh, it's going to be a stock, isn't it? Oh wait, maybe one more opportunity here, has to air dodge, going to recover low, whoa, okay. Oh, what is going it's on? gonna be an SD at the end of the day. Yeah. It does it. It's gonna be the ground pound, my friend. That was one of the strangest sequences I've seen in a minute, but that's what makes Ultimate special. Or hey, let's just bring, bring it right back down to standard with the up smash. Yeah, so uh, I'm not really sure what all that was about, but let's rein it in a little bit here as Dro looking extremely comfortable. Mr. Man trying to find an opening. Doesn't know how to punish the egg <laughs> roll out there. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Uh oh, here we go. Nice little retaliation out of hit stun there. Saves you from a precarious situation. And now the up air, not gonna find the third one, right? Just drifting the wrong oh. way on that second to be able to find the full amount of damage. Now, this is where it gets scary for Mr. Man, because even though 84 doesn't seem like a lot, especially without rage, Yoshi hits hard, right? This is one up till up air away, potentially, from almost being death here on PS2 with that high top blast zone. Not quite, but the next one, my friend, even with the sailing, very much could be. Okay. What is the answer going to be here? Mr. Man goes for a bit of a Hail Mary with that forward smash, and it's not going to land, giving Dro a pretty easy punish out of shield there to go ahead and secure game number one. And he really fed that fox a taste of his own medicine there. Dying to an up smash? Especially an up smash out of shield? Like, that that was just a trick, you know, a play out of, a, a play out of Mr. Man's own book there, right? Because I'm thinking, I'm like, was it Smash 4 where they, uh, they changed Yoshi's up smash to being the bicycle kick, or was that an ultimate thing? I'm trying to remember. Cause I remember before it was the melee variant where his head would just like kind of smack it. Yeah, that was, and that's kind of part of ult, like Smash's desire to diversify a lot of the long-standing characters, right? Who have had very similar or options, right? That that kick neutral air that Fox and Yoshi, right, still both have, but also. Oh, you know, you see like the Marios, et cetera, right? Those big heads. So just yes. trying to diversify some of these archetypes a little bit. Characters got new animations. Fox and Yoshi, though, still share quite a few archetypes Ooh. of moves. And now the oh, Egg Lake going to do it. He did that to him, man. Delicious. Tucked them into bed. Yeah, that was, I mean, perfect stock, right? That was a zero to death. I yes, mean, sir. Still, I mean, it, imagine we got the, okay, I was going to say, I was like, there's no way we're about to get the. <laughs> I was going to say, let's, let's check this again real quick. Not only just pressure him off stage, you know and this is the downside of Fox. He even played that right, too. He went to ride the wall there to avoid the spike. Sometimes you can do everything right and still lose. And right now, right, that's what Mr. Man is trying to make out of Dreffen. Right, you, or sorry, Dro. Dreffen on yeah, other game. Dreffen, no, yeah. hey, I mean, right, you just gotta, you know, it's like you're playing this matchup perfectly, but I gotta try and find a way to make you lose this game regardless because my winner's side life here, Flambo, is on the line. Oh man, and the angle was not good enough. Mr. Man, I don't know what the answer is gonna be here. The up smash is gonna be enough, nice and fresh, unstaled as well. And I gotta say, I love that egg, egg roll back, even though he just didn't pull out of it at any time. You don't see Yoshis use it enough just to increase their ground speed and use it as a movement tool to retreat and reset to neutral on some of these larger stages. It's really cool to see Dro implement it in that way as he now racks up a whole lot of damage off just a quick three-piece Yoshi combo. Yeah, it's starting to look tougher and tougher for Mr. Man here, but actually doing a decent job of actually, like, 
starting to bring things back a little bit, but gets caught by the egg lay. No follow up is going to connect, which is kind of the best it could wish for. Oh, double hits though? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, you're going to dodge. Okay, yeah, you can see that throw is waiting for it, but I think retreating to the platform there was actually a great call because it meant you can't get hit by a smash tag. Yeah, I thought I thought that Drove was just going to go up with the up air there, nice. off of it, but just didn't find it. And uh, as you said, right, that up smash just covering the options there around ledge, closing it out, and now at kill percent. And Mr. Man has to play this almost perfectly, but this is Fox. All it takes is that one opening, that one up tilt, maybe or a nair to f put you in the blender, rack you up to 80, and then, my friend, it's an even game. Yeah, Mr. Man is bringing it all the way back here. This could be bad. Has to not get caught. Needs to get back to the ledge. Managed to do so. Can we get off? Goes for the. Illusion, I think, one too many times. The past two or three times we saw Mr. Man in the corner. The way back to stage was double jump from ledge Illusion. I think by that point, Dro was just kind of like, you're going to do it again. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that was a panic option. I think seeing Fox pull that out at all is a panic option if they start with it, right? It's something that we see players like Light, like Kaninabe in Japan, to Pasaramon, use as a very rare mix-up when it's like, okay, I don't know what else to do. Ooh. Ooh, but I can do this and I can show this and then you have to start respecting that which opens your other options back up once you start to show it early and you show it twice in a row that's when you're like okay this is a panic button because it go it go fast and it covers a lot of distance fast but it ignores the startup and the end leg that that move has that makes it just so easy to punish. yes especially in a game like ultimate where it's like you know phantasming or illusioning I should say to a platform is like not really much of an option, you know, whereas like, you know, you're playing melee, it's like, all right, I'm just going to go hit the platform, platform cancel, I'm, in, I'm actionable yeah. again, right? That, but that edge cancel, man, in melee, 